Okay, part four. Zechariah 11, verse 7. And I will feed the flock of slaughter, even you, O poor of the flock. And I took unto me, took unto me the Took unto me the two staffs, the one I call beauty, and the other I call bands, and I fled the flock. Three shepherds also I cut off in one month, and my soul loathed them, and they so also upheard me. Then said, I, I will not feed you, that the, that diet let it die, and that is, not, is to be cut off, let it be cut off, and let the rest eat, every one the flesh of another. Ah! That's, ugh. You see what I'm saying? People that's cut off from God is eating flesh. Do y'all not see that? Mmm. Ugh. Yeah. Good. Okay. 12-6. <laughs> in the day I will make the governor of Judea. Wait. In the day I will make the governors of Judea like an hearth, hearth of fire among the wood and like the torch of fire and sheaf. And they shall devour all the people round about on the right hand and the left and the Jerusalem shall be inhabited. Again, in our own place, even in Jerusalem. The Lord also shall save the tenants of Judea first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judea. Y'all, bingo again. Mostly all the governors, all the rich are eating flesh. Y'all idolizing these rich people out here. Y'all just crazy. Okay? <laughs> Y'all idolizing all these governors, all these the whole government, and voting for them too. Y'all voting for these wicked people. These people, you know, these people choose who they want anyway. They already behind the crap. <laughs> Y'all idolizing these devils, and they eating flesh. Oh, how disgusting that is. They eat satanic flesh. Just think somebody just yeah kissing them in the mouth after they done eat flesh. Ain't that sick? They whores too. They eat flesh and they whores. Oh God. That is just disgusting. But y'all idolize these things. <laughs> That's what y'all idolizing. I'm telling you, y'all idolizing some sick crap. Exodus 34. 15, 16. All right. But thou shalt worship no other God, for the Lord whose name is Jealous is a jealous God. Least thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they go a whoring after their gods, and do sacrifice unto their gods. And one call thee, and thou eat of his sacrifice. And thou make take of their daughters unto thy sons, and their daughters go a whoring after their gods, and make thy sons go a whoring after their gods. Thou shalt make thee no molten images, no molten gods. Right there is telling you they are sacrificing their sons and their daughters unto their gods. Bingo again. God is telling you this, showing you this. How can how come y'all deny this and say, oh, you Christians? It ain't the Christians doing it. It is the heathens. It's been the heathens. The heathens have told him and led astray, have been deceived by Satan, the adversary. They have given in to the adversary. Therefore, God gave them up. Okay, gave them up to a reprobate mind. Therefore, they are eat, taking the oat and eating flesh of their own sons and their own daughters. Unto Baal, unto Malish, unto Satan. Okay? Stop calling these people Christians. They nowhere near it. Stop calling these people chosen. They nowhere near it. These people have always been heathens. Okay? God has already known the spirit before they farmed it. Before he farmed it. He know they were going to be like that. Okay? Psalms 106. This needs to be said because there's a lot of uh, folks I notice when I talk to them on the line they, they say, oh, but it's the, it's the Christians sacrificing their sons and their daughters. You blind as a bat? It ain't no Christians doing it. It's the so-called heathens doing it. Call themselves that. I mean, <laughs> wake up. <laughs> blind it. Y'all so blind and not knowing the truth of God's word. Y'all too busy reading other books that lead you astray and not knowing the truth. When you stick to the word like it's supposed to, you'll know the truth. 
problem with y'all, y'all don't want to seek the God that actually created all. And that's that's a problem. See? That's a problem. That's a major problem on y'all behalf. Because y'all gonna go to hell that way. Psalms 106. This is, this is something how a lot of people don't give in to the word. Too busy doing other things out here. Psalms 106, verse 37. Hmm. I think I might read up here because it's talking about Balpar. Okay. I'm worshiping Balpar. Okay. To overthrow their seed also among the nations. And to scatter them in the lands, they just, so they joined themselves also unto Balpar and ate the sacrifices of the dead, y'all. See how sick? Thus they provoke him to anger with their inventions, and the plague break in, in upon them. Then stood up, up Phanias and executed judgment, and so the plague was stayed. And that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations forevermore. They anger him also at the, at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes. Provoked, they, because they provoked his spirit, so that he spake unadvisedly with his lips, unadvisedly with his lips, they did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. They served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, and even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted. With blood. They were defiled with their own works and with a horn with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he upheard his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen, and they hated them, uh, hated them, ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under, under their hand. Many times that he delivered them, but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry, and remembered for them his covenant, and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. He made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captives. Save us, O Lord our God, and gave us from among the heathen, and gather us from among the heathen, to give thanks unto the holy name, and to triumph in thy praise. Blessed be the God, Lord God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Let all the people say, Amen. Praise ye the Lord. There you go. Okay. Y'all can see right there, they shed innocent blood again to their idols, and they worship in Balpar, causing God to get angered. And they made inventions, all these inventions out here, they made them, okay? They made inventions unto their idol gods. This is not, this is not okay, okay? This is not okay, you guys. But I'm going to stop here. Because I need to answer the phone call. But I'm going to continue. Probably in part 5. So I'm going to get back with y'all. Jesus Christ is God.